Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gold Cross Valley where today we're gonna repair all our vehicles because uh, they're costing me quite a lot so let's uh, just run around repairing things to cut down on daily maintenance. I won't repair the Valtra or these new things just yet, it's just the um, the older vehicles like this. This thing is costing me two grand a day, 15,000 to uh, repair that, 19,000 to repair that. Uh, I've just got a friend request. I'm gonna repair this thing for four hundred and fifteen dollars. That won't need repairing it. Um, all that can be repaired. So the way that the and I've I've figured this out. I've done some research. <clears throat> also, you can see there's something funky going on there. I'm going to stand over here for a second. The way that the um, daily maintenance works is every day it's going to increase by a set amount for 600 days and the reason I know that it's 600 days is because I was screwing around in my test map the other night set a vehicle to 601 days and it kind of maxed out the daily maintenance now the item that I've been teasing for so long the field 14 Easter egg I'm going to have to just toggle Flight now hub mode. Why? Did the ch okay, the chainsaw did load. I have been teasing this for so long, and I need to fly to show this off properly. Because... Field 14... When... You see it in grass... Turns into an American flag. <clears throat> the... I know how Giants did this, so I can... It, it is replicatable, it is uh, replicable on other maps. And, ooh, there's a minor error with it. Either that or that grass isn't fully grown yet. Um, so yes, it does grow into a proper, full American flag. And the way that it's done is by the flowers. I have actually counted the uh, number of stars. There are 50 stars, 13 stripes. It is actually a proper American flag. Uh, which is kind of surprising. I'm going to leave that for a stream. And what I will be doing today will involve this case. And me being right back because I forgot to turn on Logitech Profiler again. So I've got the stiffest steering wheel in the world. There we go, that's that fixed. So let's Put this pallet there, reverse away from it. Uh, we still have pallets on the trailer. So we need to get the pallets off the trailer. I am going to start uh, harvesting actually. Yes, that's a good idea, isn't it? I'm going to just come over here so that I can run to the harvester instead of tabbing. Let's grab our 1660. I actually want to check something in the garage now, seeing as I repaired everything. Has that reset the hours? No, it has not reset the age, it's just reset the... Uh, you can see it's now 768 a day. It was over 2000. Um, so I'm guessing it nerfs the... it, it, it reduces the um, amount of cost. Now it does cost you a lot of money to repair it, but it's going to save you money in the long term. So let's get that going. An hired worker, away you go. Okay, that works. Away you go. We, however, are going to... I'm going to do this out of cab, just because it could be slightly easier. We are going to... I'm going to use the mouse for this, because it's got slightly more accurate controls. I need to turn down the sensitivity of my uh, joystick a bit. We are going to empty this because we're going to need it for bales. And because we're getting even more straw. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep, do a bit of cleanup on that field. Because we're getting even more straw at the moment, we're going to have even more bales, which is nice. And it's been pointed out to me um, by Fahi. And I'm surprised that nobody else has managed to notice this. Uh. I've been getting the wrong things for my pigs. 
because I don't need, apparently don't need silage for pigs. Or straw. Or hay. Um. I've been kind of duped by the old pig mod. It was in maps. Uh, apparently you just need corn and earth fruits. Uh, let's double check that in fact. Animals, pigs, uh, da -da -da -da. water, st oh you do need straw. Water, straw, corn, wheat or barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beets. Ah. Okay. So if we get, okay so we're going to need to get a corn header for the, uh, the case, as well as a cedar that can plant corn. Or corn, yeah cedar that can plant corn. Um, so that's going to be a fun little prospect, as the harps are completely deaf in speak. Oh, do apologize, I've got a small bit of gas from the pot noodle. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this last pallet off from this side, because I think I parked the trailer in a horrible position. And we're just going to leave the, uh, and this is the one, this is the pallet that has our silage additives. Um. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Juggling it at the end of the, uh, the pallet forks. Not entirely sure how that works, but it did. Gonna take the forks off, which means I'll need this up. Disconnect the paddle forks, just straight like that. And we're gonna use the bale trailer for bales. Now I will need to get probably the Valtra, because it's fast, out into the field to deal with the barley. Um, Yeah, we can attach from here. Lovely, wonderful. We've got our bale forks on. Because our next job is going to be dealing with the bales. However, first things first, let's get over to the Valtra. Yeah, the Valtra. Uh, which I've had a few requests already to release this thing. It will be given out to certain people in the very near future. I'm still kind of looking into a full release. Um, checking all that kind of stuff. I need to just reset that. There we go. I just had to reset head tracking because it was slightly off. There we go. And let's get over to the harvester before it does anything stupid. Probably because it's going to do something stupid, in fact. Now I'm using the, um... Thing. The trailer sounds script. How full is the harvester? It should be fairly full at this point. And survey says 57%. Okay, so it's about half full. That means... We've got a bit of time to play with. And we can get back into this. This is going to be fun. And I will cut a lot of the, uh... The derpage out, I think. But apparently, the bale forks are a bit derpy. Before I forget, I need to buy two things. Number one is going to be in Misk. And it's going to be the Thunder Creek fuel trailer. And we're going to get it in... We'll get it in my colours. So we'll go green and... Orange, so it's going to look absolutely atrocious. We'll buy that for 9100 and we'll need to get a vehicle down to the Or up to the shop, no down to the shop itself South of where I currently am uh, We'll get a vehicle down to the shop shortly. It'll probably be the uh, It'll bring, bring the pickup down actually. So just stop up here. Stop the engine. Pick up, 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 pick up. There we go. Because uh, we need to reef, we we need to fuel up the uh, 
the Thunder Creek trailer before it's of any use to us. Which means the faster we can go, the better. Hooray for speed! And we are going this way. I've indicated to the left and turned right. Yes, that is how America works. So there is a bit of a bug with this pickup, as you can see, in that the... Uh, and you probably noticed this yourself. The dashboard is entirely black. Um, it shouldn't be, but it is. Now, I've zoomed into it. I've got, used my head tracking to get right into it. There are, in fact, numbers on the speedometer and whatnot. They're just not showing up for some reason. So there is our wonderful green and orange Thunder Creek trailer. It, I'm surprised at how good it looks in green. That is most definitely a John Deere green I've chosen. I may have unintentionally created a John Deere Thunder Creek trailer. If I'd chosen yellow for the uh, the wheels, it would be a John, John Deere livery. Uh, so let's stop the stop sign. Check both with. Hello! There we go. Just roll around town here at a decent speed. A reasonable speed of. Uh, was this 40 kilometers an hour? It's not 30 miles an hour, so we, we were not speeding. Town speed limits are usually, what, 30, 35 miles an hour. I think we're going about 22, 23 at most. Uh, now we're heading up towards 30. But we are heading over to the fuel station over here to fill up our tanker. We are doing a lot. I'm doing, I'm kind of jumping a bit everywhere today and. Uh, I do apologize for that somewhat. No stop sign, we can just roll straight through. And the combine is full. We need to refuel. Hop back over to the Valtra while we're waiting here. Because we need to empty out the case, which conveniently is going to unload directly over the windrow it's just laid down. Oh, that's perfect. You, got, you guys thought I was going to say the crops. No, I was looking at uh, actually correct for once. There we go. Uh, is this going to take off or am I good to just stay here for a bit? Good to stay there for a bit. Okay, now while that's doing that... This is now full, which means we can refuel the pickup. We've got 3,750 litres of diesel, which is nice. And uh, what we need to do now is leave this place. So $6,000 we've just spent on diesel alone. I meant to keep the indicator on there. Oops. So let's get going back at a reasonable clip. Go uh, try and get to 50 in town here. There we go. Hello. Uh, it looks like we can pull out here. Once I see another speed limit sign, I'll just floor it. Our new speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour. Which is very nice indeed. That was the turn I was supposed to take. And, oh, up here there's a very low speed limit, presumably because of the farm, of 35 miles an hour. Uh, which is about 
55 kilometers an hour. But the joy of it is we can now refuel our equipment from the pickup. Because we're going to probably keep the Thunder Creek trailer on the pickup. Um, can I refuel from here? I cannot. I can bring it a bit closer, turn off the engine and get a refueling for effectively, well, effectively for the amount we just spent on fuel. Uh, how is this guy doing? You're doing good. You're about half full. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Helper C is doing well. And oh boy, is fuel going to be a problem. Did I leave the pickup running? That's a waste of fuel there. Uh, I'm not going to refuel things I'm not going to be using anytime soon, so the New Holland is going to remain with whatever fuel it has in the tank. For now, at least. I will probably refuel it quite soon. Uh, I'm going to use the joystick for this, because this might help. It might not. Oh, it tells you how much straw you've got in a bale. That's something new that I didn't know was a thing. I'm guessing it's using the same method as the um, the pallets do. So I'm going to be quite a while doing this because I'm not going to go at a high speed. I'm not going to rush myself loading up this trailer at all. And uh, how close am I to being good here? Oh, I'm actually... In pretty... No, I need to nudge forward a small bit more. Small bit more. There we go. And this should just release the bale. There we go. Perfect. And on to the next one. Which... Is going to be this bale up here at the top. Let's raise it up. So, the trick that I find is useful with bale handling, and some of you may disagree, is you go as slowly as you possibly can. Even with the, uh, the front loader movements, because it tends to not annoy things. It tends to keep the physics fairly happy in this game. That is our first two bales on. Lovely. I'm loading from the back because that's what makes sense to me. Um, downside is I'm going to have to strap them down to get over to the other field, I think. Um, do I have a reference point for... That looks to be level. Not quite lined up for this bale correctly. That's a lot closer to where I want to be. Let's raise this up. And that's going to do. That's that's quite a good grab. So I'm going to cut out most of the bale handling here just to save you guys the, the trouble. And the pain of watching me driving at, you know, 10 kilometers an hour or less. For the majority of this. So I'll be back with you guys once the bales are all loaded up on the trailer and uh, hopefully the harvest will be done as well. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so that's all of the bales captured up and let's strap as many as we can. Well, that's not going to hold many bales, is it? Oh dear. I have, no I have not loaded these bales well. Uh, let's hope they hold. That's all the bales out of this field. Uh, what we are going to do... We're going to move this trailer out of the way. We're going to get the case onto the baler. Not the baler, the plow. Hopefully that's activated a lock script of some description. Presumably it has. Yes, it has. 
We're gonna get the case onto the plow. And we will get that uh, get that going. In the meantime, we have finished the harvest. Uh, in field 12 over there. Which means it is time to get the um, Valtra on the baler once again. So we'll do that first, then we'll worry about the case. So let's grab the Valtra. Actually, we need to empty out the combine first, which could be problematic. Where's the combine? Where is the combine? It's up there, facing this way, so... Approach it on this side. I've kind of worked out the uh, the distances I need to be at. Why is that kind of wonky now? So I need the trailer to be lined up like that. And I need to hop into the combine. That is not the combine. That is, in fact, the Valtra once again. Let's hop into the combine from this side, which I know is wrong, but you have to deal with it. Let's put the pipe out. It should be coming out. Yep. Empty out what's left of the tank here. Hopefully it's going to empty the rest of it. I'm guessing it will. Uh, yes. Jo oh, just. Uh, so we'll move the combine over to field 15. Over to field 12 even. Because that's going to be our next field to harvest. We won't do that today. I might do that off camera because it is soybeans once again. Um, uh, field 14 we'll keep until the weekend. We'll mow that at the weekend. I think you've seen enough mowing from me for now. I know we've been doing a lot of harvesting. This is just building up money. Building up uh, crops and building up money. Building up stocks of things so that... We can move on faster, and I have done... I forgot to mention this, I did a couple of missions off camera last night. Which is why we started off today with $100,000. Uh, I'm not cheating, I'm just doing off camera missions because... I don't think anybody wants to see me doing a million missions. So, we'll just leave the combine there like that. We'll hop into the Valtra once again. And... Bring... This barley down to... What I've kind of unofficially made our barley store. Uh, I did actually forget to buy something again, didn't I? So I'll buy that in a second. Because... I would like... Very much... To... Uh, actually scoot the barley backwards into the shed a bit more. So while that's going on... We're going to get a leveler. Uh, what's the difference between these? We'll get the MES 500 because it's bigger. Hopefully that'll fit onto a three point. So that's that done. We'll lower the trailer down. And I'm going to run up to the shop in the Valtra because this thing is fast. And get the leveler. And so I'll be back in a moment with the leveler. Because uh, I do want to scoot that barley right up to the back of the shed today. Alright, so we're up at the shop now. There's our leveler. Uh, it does look like it'll go on to a front three point. So let's attach it up here. And raise it. Can I raise it? Can I not raise it? Do I have to unfold it to raise it? Or is it just something that can't be raised? It is something that can't be raised. Okay. So let's head off. Back to the farm now with our leveler. And... Oh, it's... <laughs> it's limiting our speed. Lovely. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a pain. So yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes, by the looks of it, with the uh, leveler down at the farm. So we're approaching the farm now, and I've noticed that this thing gets caught on everything. Uh, which means that the level crossing here is going to be fun. 
Let's see exactly how badly this screws up the level crossing. Okay, here we go. Huh? And yep, yeah, it brought us to complete stop. Lovely. We are nearly back to where we need to be. Would it be quicker if I just... This could be a terrible idea or it could be a brilliant stroke of genius. Uh, if I go across the... Nope, that was a terrible, terrible idea. This is getting stuck on every little nook and cranny in the ground. Uh, this isn't ideal, is it? I may have had a really dumb idea, guys. And if I have, would it be any surprise? Yeah, this is a really dumb idea. Yet again, one of Dave's pla master plans is found to be idiotic. Okay, we are pretty much back at the yard. Hopefully it's quite smooth. It is! Hooray! Means you can actually drive this thing. What we are going to do is we're going to thread the needle here. Actually thread the needle, that's surprising. Unfold our leveler. And we'll just start shoving our pile back to the back of this building. And you can see that it is causing all sorts of problems because I can't raise this thing. I may have been better off just getting a uh, a bucket and doing it this way, but hey! We're learning. This is how you're supposed to do silage in the game now, I believe. I mean, it's making a nice neat pile. It's got that going for it, which is nice. But it is causing a bit of a mess pretty much everywhere else. Um. I get the sneaking suspicion it's going to break the uh, conveyor belts now again. Or as well. Can I... Nope, I have to actually reverse out and let this cause a mess. Let's try and pick up the bits that I've just dumped in the middle of the yard and try and get rid of these where possible near something of use come on, get out of the there's 15 litres left oh, dang it all I've succeeded in doing is making a mess if I put this onto the rear three point would it have actually been better? because I could use reverse turning let's switch this into reverse turning mode real quick I believe... yes, that does the first time I've used reverse turning. Can I raise it with this? No. Let's bring it up to the BGA backwards. This is going to be a terrible idea as well, but hey, why not? Uh, that's why not. Uh, 465. Let's bring it up to the BGA in four wheel drive with diff locks up on. And we'll see if we can't uh, level off the silage there. I believe this is the quickest way up there as well. Which is mildly infuriating. In fact, you know what I'm going to do, guys? Is I'm going to end the video here. And next time we'll be up at the BGA. I'll uh, mow the improvised meadow and around the fields off camera. And get a bit more silage up there. Uh, I will also... Yeah, that's the idea. Magically turned into silage, in fact. Um... Uh, I will also bale up field 12 and get those bales loaded onto the trailer. Possibly not before the next episode, but at some point soon. Um, I'll get this done. I'll get that field uh, harvested and in... And I will also get the New Holland... Uh, did I set the New Holland plowing over here? I did not set the New Holland plowing over here. Yeah, so there's a few things I need to do. Um, the next episode, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but we'll do something interesting, I think. 
Uh, I will do another couple of missions just to get more money together. But now we're not spending thousands a day on maintenance. We're just going to spend hundreds. Well, we probably are still spending thousands. Um, we're not spending as much on maintenance now, which is nice. So I'm going to leave you saying, I've been Raymond Dave. You've been watching Farming Silver 17 on Goldcrest Valley. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new here, do please hit subscribe. It is very, very... Uh, Nice to see new people, new faces around the place all the time. It is very much appreciated. And there's something special coming up soon. Not this, but something different. Um, so, until next time, stay safe and goodbye.